asks well how to read the options T market leaves and does uh, think the rally could be running out of steam here. Let's bring in Chris Murphy. He's co-head of derivative strategy at Susquehanna. Let's pick up there, Chris. What would you add? How, do you, how are you looking at things? Well, one thing I want to point out, um, when we're talking all about this um, put call ratio and the increase in call volumes, uh, we have seen a bit of a resurgence in the message board style meme stock trading. So let's just point out one option, Apple. You know, we've all heard of it. Uh, we looked yesterday, a million calls traded. That's a big number. That's going to decrease put call ratio, increase put volume. But if you look to the next day, how many new positions were established? New open interest, 100,000. So uh, 900,000 of that call volume was opened and closed the same day. That's going to show up in those call volume numbers you just mentioned. It's going to impact put, uh, put call ratio, but it actually doesn't have quite as much of an impact. If you think about it, opened and closed over the course of the day, that's not going to have a lasting impact. What does have a more lasting impact? Uh, you know, in terms of the rally running out of steam, um, you know, positioning is more evened out now. Uh, sentiment is more back towards neutral. Uh, a lot of the shorts have covered. You know, we're, if you're looking at technicals, we did run into some resistance at the 200 day. So those are all going to be larger factors than uh, call volume that's opened and closed uh, in the same day and is typically chasing the momentum as opposed to causing it. And so does that leave you feeling like, okay, we've kind of come back and we're even Stevens now? And, and where do we, t what does that typically tell us about the next phase of the, of the market move? Well, you know, I would point out that the VIX has come in a lot since the June lows, I think from around 35 down to around 20, but it's kind of found a level around $20. So that could be a sign that investors are looking to start to put some protection back in here as we finish out the summer and head into September. You know, for me, I think it's going to be a little bit more range bound. The easy money, the positioning, the sentiment evening out, that's already happened. I think the next kind of move to the upside is going to be a lot harder. I'd be looking more at um, overwriting and, and even maybe pairing some of these positions at the same time. So long as inflation kind of has rolled over and stays subdued, I think that downside tail is out as well. I'm expecting more of a choppy range bound end to the year, um, you know, from what we're seeing in the options.